fellow Sierra Leoneans, this is Sylvia Olainka Blyden again. This is part two of my audio number 61 on April 10th, 2022. We will call this audio, audio number 061B. 061A, then I'm in the part one. So this one na 061B. This audio na for talk about the challenges and failures with the Julius Mother Bio SAPP regime the face and the spiritual rema with the unbogden government because of certain things the way the government don't do. But I want for tell on her up front, say this audio, I know they put them out this night, this Sunday night. And they put them out much later in the week. Because I just don't receive intelligence, say certain things they for happen inside this week. Where I don't want to preempt any step with any audio that they release, which they can't talk on this audio today. So I will release this audio much later in the week. But they record on tonight, April 10th, 2022. Before I go into the main issue, I want to just talk very briefly on this thing we'll call democracy. Democracy is not a work if you not get opposition. Make a talk and back. Democracy is not a work. If you not get opposition. So if whosoever they in charge of the opposition, he compromise, he sell game, he betray in leadership of the opposition, then the democracy in the country don't hamburg. But one thing what I can say is that when you they in the opposition, and you compromise and you fail the people of this country because sometimes you get a corruption case or a money laundering case where you're afraid for making them not charge you to court. So you sell the people them out and you allow the government for suppress and oppress the people. I get a special message for you. After I would not talk down on the Julius Mother Bill feelings inside we country in democracy. Make a move now to the issue of Julius Mother Bill and the spiritual challenges we in government they face. Um, maybe you wait, I would go start this topic and I might expand on them in another audio so that I don't make this audio too long. You see, today I really want to talk to SLPP members and supporters. This message now to SLPP members and supporters. Few weeks back I discussed the same issue. But that time they not to President Julius Mother Bill directly I mean talk to. I mean, the advice and based on what you mean me to see. Today, now in supporters and in followers of the SAPP I want to talk to. Those of whom are with the reason out, those of whom are with on tape and politics, when I must agree with me, see, on a government, on a systems, very confused. Things that they happen now in a government way, you know, normal, you know, ordinary. It is spiritual. And tonight I want to talk to her and say, let her pray for her president. But now her president, but now her leader, because me not to me on party leader. I want to urge her the SIPP, say, her need for pray for her party leader, when her the president of Sierra Leone. The reason why is because whatever 
confusion where they happen inside the government. It affects every single Sierra Leonean, including myself. What in the cause this confusion we on our government they go through? I believe say when Una Kana power four years ago, Una come with some type of um negative I not gonna say anger but negative emotions. And when I use that negative emotions day for maltreat people in this country, when I use on a political power for hot people in this country, when I use on a political power for abuse people in human rights in this country, and when I do them willfully. And because Una do willfully to people then we me helpless as I mean talking to me audio a few weeks back God is not asleep and there is a spiritual realm in this world people then pains and then cries and then sufferings then we then go through Then cry, then go down on the knees, so man pray. And when you add up all them pains, then they and the cries to the spiritual realm, then they affect on a government. So, and when it affects on a government, it affects the one whole country. So right now we get a situation where even on a leader. His Excellency Julius Madabio. In Sesef, in spirit man, they tell him, say, don't blunder. In spirit man, they tell him, even if he not talk him physically, in spirit man, they tell him. Now, for that make, you go see, he go in a church. He donates money and he said that money then because not in your way for going to heaven. He talk and open the area. Yeah. He say they try for going to heaven. For a head of state for gonna mean me not look the amount. In fact, um a lot of people they misunderstand that two billion way donate because me watch the entire program, not to the cut and paste one, because there's a cut and paste one where they out. I watch the entire program and um what he actually say was that him and in Paddy them, he don't, they all don't sit down and don't meet. And in Paddy, they all put half, 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 all man put, 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 put money. And the total way in, in Paddy and in family them put together nine count to two billion. And not saying that in one grain they donated two billion. But the mere fact that waiting they out and waiting people they understand <laughs> that that nine go donate two billion in the middle of such poverty and sufferings. All a part of the spiritual confusion with around the entire governance systems. For a head of state for going to church, he say I they can't donate cash because I want to go to heaven. <laughs> and they show that even in spirit, man, they acknowledge see something is wrong somewhere. So I get for donate huge sum of money on behalf of me and me friends them. Donate iron rod, donate cement because I want to go heaven. SIPP, when I need for seek spiritual guidance, because on a party right now, they affect the country. On a they affect the country because your party is under a spiritual, huge spiritual challenges. On a don't hurt people then so much. I don't abuse people then rights then so much. Like you now one short example recently. I get some young man then where I encourage them say make them go join NASIT. 
So then we pay contribution as voluntary contributors we month done. Because I encourage them, I like encourage and say, I can put for on our money. But we want to raise on our funds, we want to get money from different areas. We want to consider, say, the whole idea of NASIT. In case you get an accident, you die, you work and you pick in there, they will get a pension where they will collect their get benefits. So I encourage them, I say, let them go for go register the NASIT. For whatever reason, NASIT say them for pay six months in advance as voluntary contributors. Where well, you know make any you know you know make sense to me. So I call the Western Region person where they in charge of NASIT. I say, bro, I say five people them they way they want for go join NASIT. I mean these are these are patriotic citizens. They want for voluntarily they go pay um, for join NASIT. I said, but then they will pay six months in, adv in advance. I said, it sounds so strange to me. Social security, they pay six months in advance. I said, what if the person, you don't pay six months in advance, then God forbid after two months, he die. Something happened to her. I said, then, I said, it looks strange to me. So the man answered me, he said, well, what happened? I mean, they get people that want to go to overseas employment. So then you can just come and take a NASIT card. Then they knock again for pay, which... You know, me making it. I mean, that should not be a reason for you for say six months in advance. He said, but if they get person we can guarantee them, say, then <laughs> they then go pay. He said, they can wave off that six months in advance. I say, I say, me I say, I say, I can guarantee them. It's so, okay. Let them go then the next morning. Lo and behold, when I think he go tell him boss them, I boss they say, eh, hey, that woman Sylvia Blyden. You know, say, we may can go court, the tell way they may say it all on our way as minister. Then that case, they eat not day till not day. So, then this na opportunity now. The imagine that they work with them, supposedly, they do them bring politics kind of thing. So, what if five people then go for go register? Imagine. I say, people now listen to the government. <laughs> Why then go for go register? Now, they call them, say, for where they go now for group because they don't register for pick their card. The one nine and tell and see, um, make the car talk to them, they work for Dr. Sylvia Blyden. Uh, imagine, I mean, just nonsense. So the other man, he said, No, we're not a work. Me that trade, I can trade in this, I trade on that. Then begin make all sorts of ways. Bottom line, Nasit, on a government, Nasit, for the double <laughs> They refuse for register bona fide patriotic citizens of Sierra Leone for register the Nasit. Just because na Sylvia Blyden, a politician, within the target, na send them for good. This na the way we una the hot people them. So now we get five innocent people that we want for join Nasit. Just because na Sylvia Blyden na incense made them go join Nasit. For political reasons, Mr. Dabo and in team na Nasit, they abuse the authority now for disadvantage five Sierra Leonean citizens from getting waiting due them for be registered as contributors to Nasit because of politics. So now imagine them five people then they now, each of them. They're not able to now. Of course, we get ways where we can use legal means and administrative means for get people them for do the correct things them. But I'm talking now about five Sierra Leoneans. They will not have power. But what did they happen in a, in a situation like this where double they use politics for, they politicize Nasit so horribly because they want to score political points for SLPP against Sylvia Blyden and APC person. When they abuse a citizen in rights like that, I give just this small example, but what I give the example I give on us, so the abuse of authority by on a party, it reverberates all over. That that's the confusion of government. 
on a the abuse people then write them for cheap, cheap politics. So right now in the spiritual realm, imagine that there five men in there now. We then go kneel down for pray to God. God the answer. Now they confuse on the government. God the answer such prayers because this is a real advantage. Now we they take pan people them. Of course, the advantage one don't take pan me. The SAPP don't take pan me. Look and pack. I don't need for repeat them. But me not the work out malice. Me not the work out grudge. Me can leave everything to God. And of course, as I can see, I get for go echo as court later. But a lot of people them. On a lot hot people them. And so in the spiritual realm, the spirit world affects on a government. So on a they make all type of blunder. And the blunders them. The blunders, the mistakes, the errors where this government they make on a daily basis, the mistakes. I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable because your government is under spiritual challenge. And when on a party so challenged because on a don't abuse so many innocent people in this country for political purposes. Yes, politics na dirty game. We all know that. But the extent to which Una don't abuse people their rights for politics is too much. And it affects Una government right now. And if Una don't step up and pray, SLPP, I need to ask Una for pray because of elections next year. Because I gave my opinion already on that elections day. About how things then get for turn out. Of course, you know, we'll give you final farm, farm, farm predictions until where the elections reach near. But as it stands right now, I mean, I don't state my opinion before. But my concern when we get is that this challenged and confused state of affairs, where they affect on a party, on a SLPP party, they affect the leader of an SAPP party way current in our president. By extension, it affects we all in Sierra Leone. So many mistakes, so many blunders, so many things them when just not even me need for be done. Now now they do. Making mistakes all over the place. But una they do them because you are under a spiritual battle. And so at the roundup today for talk to an SLPP. Say una day under a negative spiritual battle because una don't hurt too many people. We're not able to fight on our back. And so all what they do, then they pray to the spiritual realm because they're helpless. Una get too many people them where una still they hurt them. And if una not find a way for stop for hurt them, if we are not find a way for stop for abuse people their rights, SLPP, on a confused state of governance, so many mistakes they want to make, needless mistakes we want to make, it will affect this country and it will affect we all. You they see the amount of tremendous goodwill where Julius Mother Beauty received from overseas. I think the amount of money we don't pour in because people then believe in this in message, people from overseas, then believe in this in message of human capital development, the amount of goodwill where they enjoy, it is not translated to the confidence where the people then for build up for them. You put ballot box today in a free town for contest elections. You go get some constituencies in a free town for the first time in the history of Sierra Leone. You go get constituency where they go vote over 80% against a sitting president in political party. That is how bad it is. So despite all the support from overseas, despite all the confidence we then get in UNA from overseas, within this country, People gains with the corruption within the perceive say they happen. People gains with the confused state in which the government can run things them. 
because some of the things the way they happen, some of the confused way, the confused messaging, Siagate go talk this today, NCP go publicly answer that day tomorrow. Then it's never been, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just, <laughs> you, I can just see them sometime at the watch. I'm just amazed. So much confusion. Now, because on a government, they on the spiritual challenge. SLPP, on a listen to me today, and they talking from the bottom of my heart. On a need for pray and turn from on a wicked ways. The wickedness where they happen to innocent people in this country, it is too much. If we are not turned from on our wicked ways, we are continue to affect the country and we country not deserve them. Now I start this broadcast, I talk about democracy and the importance of the opposition for make democracy function. And I want to end this broadcast with a special short message back for Anes Baikoma and all the people them that the opposition leadership. We don't hold on to the APC. Muzzle the APC so the APC not be an effective democratic opposition. And most of the reasons why I make when I don't keep quiet for the last four years now for save on a skin no more, for save on a property, and for save for me they not charge on a to court. So when I don't connive with the SLPP all this time, when I don't sell game, when I don't do anything with man, so when I don't abdicate on our duties as the opposition voice in the country. And in all of this, what they do, when I feel so when I get sense past God. <laughs> But I want to have a note today that just like how Julia's mother building the face challenges now, because now a spiritual battle, Una self self. Because Una don't refuse for doing our work as the opposition, because Una don't keep quiet, where so much suffering, so much pains don't happen in this country, Una don't keep quiet. For example, Una go see them go take a young man from Bo. Then go lock her up for nine Panadol tablets. Then lock her up for eight months jail. On a content. On not able to even lift a finger for making a file an illegal appeal so that the man can overturn in unfair conviction. On I don't enjoy all of this. On I don't stay quiet. Some people in the defend on I say on I keep quiet because on I want the SLPP for the dig old pan and safe. So that they will commit all the atrocities there and they go to pile up. And like the intelligence, what they get right now, say inside this week, the a big international human rights condemnation get for come out that when I may allow the SAPP for do all the things there because when I want them to forget this bad name on human rights, so when I may keep quiet. But let me tell you something that quiet when I keep quiet. It causes a lot of people to feel pains. It causes a lot of people to die, needless die. It causes a lot of people then for going to jail and suffer, needless suffer. It causes a lot of people then for lost their jobs. It causes a lot of financial mishap because we are not doing our work as opposition. For whatever reason, if not the corruption case, or on a property they want to save, I want to know for say una self self, just like the SIPP and President Mother Bill, una need for pray, because God not asleep. All this evil na this land, we una don't sit on the watch, and we don't keep quiet. God not asleep, so una need for go on una knees also and pray to God for forgiveness. If una not go down on una knees and pray, believe you me. In the spiritual realm, all them cries, them waste your alienians, they don't cry. As soon as keep quiet, they watch. God will answer the cries. No need for pray and turn from on our wicked ways. The wickedness where they happen to innocent people in this country, it is too much. 
if we are not turned from our wicked ways, we are continue for affect with country, and we can't get no deserve them. So on that note today, I will end tonight's broadcast, as I can always do, with the tune of the national anthem. And why I can play the tune of the national anthem? It's because I can want when the tune they play, make one they reflect on the words they walk and they sing, who they sing about the land that we love, our Sierra Leone. That God bless we all. Until my next broadcast, we will be audio number 62. Thank you.